Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Computer Programming 1 Series. Right now is our lecture number 10. Let's proceed. Okay, it is conditional statement part 3. Decision making. Under decision making, we have to follow some parts for the process. The first one is the problem. The second one is the algorithm. So under problem, input two numbers and store the largest in big. So we have num1 as a variable name, which is 17, and num2, which is 53, and the big, which is 53. It identifies in the algorithm input number 1, which is 17, and number 2, which is 53. We store the largest of num1 and num2 in big. Now find the value which is largest of the number 17 and 53 and put it into big variable name. Now store num1 in big. If num, num2 is greater than num1, then store num2 in big. Since num2 is greater than because it is 53 and num1 is 17, then therefore the if statement is possibly true. Now, if statement, the syntax if logical expression statement. It means to say if you're going to use if, don't forget the parenthesis. And inside the parenthesis, that is what you call logical expression, which it has been discussed in chapter number 9. Now we have program context statement 1, if logical expression statement 2. Then statement 3. Next, we have the order of execution. Logical expression must be answerable by true or false. Under statement 1, up to 3. The same process with false. Now, we have the flow of ex execution. Statement 1 goes right here. And we have the decision box, which is the diamond which is we put right here logical expression so if num1 is less than num2 then therefore that is true then statement 2 will be followed and it will go right here at the end statement now if it is false then it will go to the end it means to say any of the answer true or false it will go to the end of the program now we have here the flowchart for our problem store num1 in big we have num2 is greater than num1 that is true then it will go to true store num2 in big okay it means to say num2 is equals to big then it will go down code for solution in integer find max we have the uh, function find max in finding the largest or big number integer num1 comma integer num2 so we have two variables they are both integer now we have integer big and big is equal to num1 so big is considered to be 17 if num2 is greater than num1 then big is equal to num2 then we have 53 then return big it means to say you're going to check out then you're going to display which is the final answer so return is displaying big into the function don't forget, return is also a function that what you input beside it or in the parenthesis will go back again to the uh, function itself. Next, trace for solution. Trace of find max. So we have 17 and 53. Num1 is 17. Num2 is 53. What is big? Now, on this statement, big is equal to num. So we have 17. If num2 is greater than num1, then big is equal to num2. That is 53. Turn big. Now, trace for solution trace of find max 9 6 so num1 is 9 num2 is 6 then big is unknown so this statement big is equal to num1 so big is equal to 9 if num2 is greater than num1 it is not greater than return big so big num1 is equal to 9 so it will return 9 as big num1 executing greater than 1 statement if any if it means to say if there is the result you can put multiple statement not only one so statement 1 logical expression true then statement 2 statement 3 statement 4 then it goes to statement 5 now one statement in an if does this work statement 1 if logical expression statement 2 statement 3 statement 4 then statement 5 no the indenting is irrelevant Section P is if logical expression is statement 2, statement 3, statement 4. My suggestion here is that on the statement itself, what you need to do is to display the formulation and the result much better. Another is the, the value so that uh, we are aware of what is going on in the inside of the 
computer. Greater than 1 statement in an if a solution. Solution use a compound statement. Statement 1, if logical expression. Statement 2, statement 3, statement 4. Then we have, you will notice this, the curly braces. That is what you call begin and end. In the begin and end, it is scoped up if only true, it will execute a statement 2, 3, 4. If it is false, it will go outside to a statement 5. Statement in if. Any statement reasonable as a single statement in if, an expression statement, such as assignment statement, function call, printf, scanf, etc. This is what I've been mentioned. It's rather to display by typing printf and can get input also to accumulate the formulas and transparency. Use scanf also. Another is, you can put up compound statement and if statement also. So, if under if. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and good luck. Congratulations, you successfully finished our lecture number 10.